All right, let's do an example here. So um, we have to determine the slope of the tangent of f of x equals 3x times x squared plus 3x to the power of 3 at x equals 1. So the first thing we can do is let's uh, rewrite this, uh, this equation here. So we got x squared plus 3x to the power of 3. First thing to recognize is that notice that this f of x, this function, is a product of two functions, right? It's a product of two functions, and um, we have to determine the slope, so we know we're going to have to take the derivative. And since it's a product of two functions, we're going to have to use the product rule when we take the derivative. So how does the product rule work? Well, we take the derivative of the first function, which is just 3. Then we rewrite the second function as itself. And then we add the, uh, the first function as itself times the derivative of the second function. And notice that the second function here we, um, we can use the power of a function rule that we, uh, we did in the uh, previous videos. So what we would do is we bring the 3 down, uh, leave that uh, function in the brackets the same, minus 1 from the exponent, 3 minus 1 is 2, and then multiply it by the derivative of the function in the brackets. So the derivative of x squared plus 3x, that's just 2x plus 3. All right, so we kind of got a lot going on here. So let's, uh, let me do a quick recap. So f of x is a product of two separate functions. This 3x is one function. This x squared plus 3x to the power of 3 is another function. And then, um, so to take the derivative, we need to use the product rule, the uh, derivative of the first function, times the second function plus the first function times the derivative of the second function where we would apply the power of a function rule. All right, and then, um, and then at this point, we want the slope of the tangent at x equals one. Um, another thing you can do here is you can, uh, depending on your teacher, they might want you to simplify this more. So uh, let's let's go through that. It, it won't be uh, it won't be too bad. So x squared plus three x to the power of three that just stays as itself. Notice how this three and this three we can multiply together. You want to multiply all of the uh, the integers that are by themselves together. So we'll have nine x, and then let's put this two x plus three in front. And then let's rewrite this x squared plus 3x squared here. <clears throat> and then notice how we can factor out a x squared plus 3x from both uh, of these expressions that we're adding. So when we factor out x squared plus 3x, we factor out uh, the lowest exponent. So we got 3 and 2, so it will be 2 here. And uh, when we factor out x squared plus 3x to the power of 2 out of this part, we'll be left with 3, and then the x squared plus 3x stays. There's like one more left because there's three of them, and we factored out two of them. So there's one more left, plus 9x, 2x plus 3. And now since we factored out the x squared plus 3x to the power of 2, uh, we don't have to write it here anymore. And then continuing on here, so we'll rewrite uh, this x squared plus 3x to the power of 2. And then uh, we can uh, distribute this 3 inside the bracket. So we'll have 3x squared plus 9x. Distribute the 9x in this bracket, we'll have plus 18x squared plus 27x, 9x times 3 is 27x. And then uh, we could add some like terms here. We could add these like terms and then these ones right here. So we end up, uh, you know what, let's, um, running out of space here, I'm gonna continue this right here. 
So let's rewrite this x squared plus 3x to the power of 2. And then 3x squared plus 18x squared, that's just 21x squared. And then 9x plus 27x, that's just 36x. All right, so this whole thing we simplified to f of prime x. So this whole thing here, that's the derivative of this function here. And we want the slope of the tangent at x equals 1, so we would just plug in 1 uh, into this. So we'd have 1 squared plus 3, that's 4 uh, squared. And then we'll have 21 times 1 squared, that's just 21, plus 36 times 1, which is 36. So we'll have 16 times 21 plus 36, that's 57. And then 16 times 57, pff, I don't even know what that is. Um, let's do it here quickly. 57 times 16. Wow, I can't even remember the last time that I've done um, multiplying two digits together. So 2, 1, 9. Right? I think I did that correctly. 7 times 6, 4, 34, 7, 5, 2, 1, Okay, 912. So, pretty uh, pretty steep slope there. So the slope of the tangent of this function, so let's um, cut the question off from the solution. So the slope of the tangent of this function at x equals one is 912. So we applied the product rule and then we applied the power of a function rule uh, within the product rule, did some algebra. The biggest step here was um, you know what, like when you got to this point, you could have also just plugged in one, right? And got your 912 as well. But uh, your teacher may want you to simplify it even further. So I just wanted to show you the steps for simplifying. We saw that x squared plus 3x is a common factor in both, uh, in both expressions. So we factored it out with the lowest exponent 2. And then, um, and then we were left with this big bracket, expanded it. Uh, simplified it, plugged in one, and then we ended up with uh, with a slope of the tangent uh, being 912. Okay, I want to make one more point on uh, on this question here. So the final derivative we got here, this f of prime x, and um, what we could have done still is we could have um, took out an x from this bracket here. So an x would just go in front here, and we'd be left with just 21x plus 36. We just factor out an x. So we could have simplified it a, li a little further. I didn't catch that. But, uh, but yeah, other than that, you would still, if you had an x here, and then you'd be left with 21x plus 36, plugging in one, you would still get uh, 912.